When you don't give up, good shit happen to you. Hello, hello, hello. This is Sydney Soul Liberation Green, the co-CEO of Soul Lip Service, the world's first sex work academy. And this video is going to be very special. We're going to have a very special guest. We're going to have a Miss Melanie come. And there she is right there. Yay, yay, yay. And she's going to send a little invite. I'm going to see it pop up. And then she's going to come um, up and join us. So this, we actually got it, y'all. There we go. Add. Add. Okay. We got it. Okay, so we finally got it. I mean, I feel sorry for those of you who've been here all the I made like 50 years trying to get this to work, but I just couldn't give up. There she is! Oh, she's so cute! Hey! Hello! You are so cute! Ah, oh, look at her hair! Um, look at her hair! She got the colors! She got the colors! <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So now we just need to build our audience back. We need to give it a few seconds. I know the audience is still coming. I thank you for working with that. I know that was crazy. We made like 15, I, you know, 15 different posts trying to get it together. But we finally did. And I'm so glad that we did. And you look gorgeous as usual. Well, thank you. You do too with your little hair puffs. I want some. I almost bought some fake pom-poms yesterday. Girl, you got to do it. You'll be fine in it. Okay, you'll be fine in it. So, so yeah, so right now we are, I'm going to actually invite a couple of more people. I forget that I can do that. I can actually invite people to see the live broadcast because we need people here um, that are going to watch this. So we have to build that audience and we're working on that. Um, and it's just really going to be good. I need everybody to hear your story. So I'm actually actively inviting people right now. I've never done that before. Usually I just let the audience come through, but you know, we don't have time for that right now. We need everybody under the sun to be here looking at your beautiful story. So now what you guys don't know about this lady is that she's the shit, but you know, so that screenshot that I posted, everybody was like, Oh my God, the screenshot about the lady that had the uh, weight loss surgery this has all been due to to the lady that you see right here. So um, she has been a part of uh, the journey. I don't know when you got your diva package, but she went all in and she got her first call not too long ago. And she's the one who made the one hundred fifty dollars in 60 minutes. So without further ado, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I, I'm really good. Uh, I'm I'm just, you know, glad that you're here. So how long has it been since you've been a part of this whole total lip service journey? I forget how long. It's I been. think it, I think it's been right at three months, just a little over three months. Um, but I work a full time job, so it kind of was weekends and evenings and stuff like that. But it, it's been about three months from the time that I started the investigation. Uh, my husband met Stephanie and she kind of was like, oh, yeah, here's this information. Um, I really did a lot of investigation on total lip service and I really wanted to know about you guys. And so it took me a little bit. Um, he was confident right away. He's like, no, you need to do this. But he wouldn't tell me. <laughs> so but yes, I love your husband. husband. He's Your the husband. best. He did not want to make a decision for me. He was like, no, I want you to decide. And uh, from that moment, he was like, yes, we, we're going all in. So, yeah, about three months. Okay, so, okay, so you did, you did your Googling. So, what did you use to research? You just used, did you get added into the groups? Well, no, the groups weren't open then. So, how did you even research? Now, I'm, I'm curious, like, what did you use to figure, figure us out and see if we were legit or not? Well, I knew about the I knew Total Lip Service, the company, and you're right. the The website has grown so much better since I started my process. But I did watched a lot of the YouTube videos, and uh, actually, your video, uh, one of the videos that you're talking about, you know, why your profile, why answering these questions about yourself is so, you know, all of these, um, you know, what can we do for you? Why do you need to do this? And both you and Stephanie just talked about you know building women up so much and being so supportive and wanting you know to have that power back for yourself that I just really I didn't find anything out there like that any other information about phone sex or you know how to do good or you know how to um, go into an industry that you know nothing about 
and be successful without just, you know, sitting around waiting for something to happen, you know, to take your power. Go ahead now. Okay, good. Well, I'm very glad that you were able to find us and, and, and see some stuff. We have definitely, yeah, we are a company run by two humans. So therefore it was just, you know, it's just been a lot of growth and changes that the company's going through. So I'm glad that you found us. So once you found us now, you, did you go right into webcam or did you do phone sex first? Did you do phone sex first or go right into webcam? I can't remember. I jumped all in with both feet and I chose to go ahead and do the full webcam package, the, uh, the webcam diva. So I got the custom bio, everything. I did the whole, you know, my own layout. Uh, I mean, not my own layout, but you know, I just, I did the full webcam package. Cause I knew that I may not be able to webcam every day, but I would always have phone sex to fall back on. Whereas if I, I'm a kind of person, if I'm going to do it, I want to go all in. So I chose okay. to go ahead and do the full webcam package. Okay. Dope, dope, dope. Well, that does make sense. I mean, a lot of people, um, you know, it, I think that the webcam uh, it, uh, training and or diva package is always good because like you said, okay, if you ain't go webcam every day and you just, you may go a month and not really feel like getting a webcam, but you'll still be able to log in and take calls because you've taken the training too, because it comes with both. So you'll have that knowledge. You can do both and you can, you know, it's just so many different, you, you're you flexible. Sometimes you just may not want to, you're on your period or whatever, and you just get to do your, your thing. So that's really, that's really good. And you, and honestly, we've had other people, uh, you know, involved in all that stuff, but you definitely stand out for so many reasons. Number one, I just love the fact that you have a supportive husband that's there. And I think that that's very important. It's just so many, just social things I could say about that. Just generational social uh, uh, society type things I could say about that. I mean, how he's very, you know, supportive of you. And I wish I could talk to him too. I, I, that's going to be a separate video. I want to talk about men who support women in sex work. And we're going to have to feature your husband if he's willing to be on there. So, um, so tell us a little bit about your diva package process. So you went through, you decided, I want to do this. What was your process like um, doing it? What did you think of the trainings first off? Did you think that the trainings, uh, did you think you knew a little bit more than you did? Uh, was it much more um, detailed than you thought? What, like, what did you feel about the trainings? The training was absolutely amazing. After I took it, <clears throat> I had no doubts that I would have the ability to do the job at all. It really felt like um, I was going to a company and they set up this training and they provided me with all the tools that I would need to be successful. Um, all of everything from how do you keep somebody on the phone or, you know, how do you take problems and turn those around? You know, how do you know what you're going to be good at and how do you identify that? And as you and Stephanie are delivering that training, it, every step of the process, you become a little more confident and a little more educated and, closer to that step to understanding, you know, okay, this is what this is all about. And this is how I can become successful at this. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Very good. I'm, I'm glad you're saying that. And I want you, and I, and, and of course you're, you, if you, I don't want you to feel obligated to answer any question the right or wrong way. I want you to speak from the heart. And I think that's what you're doing anyway, because we have not rehearsed this y'all. This is just, no. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I didn't rehearse. I didn't give her no questions. I was going to ask. I don't even know what I'm going to ask. So this is just all there. So I have a question. Let's talk about this weight loss surgery that you had. How, how much did you weigh before you had the surgery? Um, I weighed 250 pounds and I'm five foot tall. So okay. that, that, that's a situation. It is. And it has okay. its own challenges body wise too. So I was like, uh, how is this going to work with the webcam? You know, I was like, uh, what do I do? You know, you, that you can't hide from it. You're in front of a camera. So what made you do it? Okay. So, okay. So take me, if you don't mind, of course, if something gets too personal, please tell me to go to the next oh. question. But no. so, Okay, well, great. So when you were that weight, how did you feel sexy? I mean, because see, some people feel sexy no matter what their size is, which is the ideal mentality to have. But when you were that size, did you feel sexy? 
I did, but at the same time, there was always that inner, like, oh, I'm the cute little fat girl. You know, nobody wants to be cute. Who wants to be cute? You want to be sexy. You want to be hot. Um, and I never was that when I was fat. So even now I had my weight loss surgery two and a half years ago, almost three years ago in January. Um, so even now, sometimes I still kind of get stuck in that fat girl mentality of, you know, oh yeah, right. People are just placating me. Um, but I, I, I did, you know, feel sexy and cute but at the same time not like I do now um after you lose that weight you it definitely changes your mindset and you want to be pretty you want to feel pretty and I think as you get that attention it changes you okay interesting so you had the weight loss surgery and how did you feel after because the the it and this is so important to the story this is not just all about total lip service and making money i really do give a fuck about your journey and number one um she weighed 150 pounds uh kia uh kia love somebody asked how much you weighed um the, the 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 thing that's interesting about it is what a lot of people are thinking is if I, let me tell you what I'm thinking. I think you're fucking you the shit because for you to say that you felt kind of cute and you know you you felt sexy sometimes, but you know overall you were the cute little girl, all that stuff. Like you, um, why did you choose webcam? Like for me, that says like so much courage. A lot of people who are in your shoes would just assume I don't have what it takes to be a webcam model. So why would I even do that? Now, of course, let me backtrack a little bit. You had the weight loss surgery. That was obviously before total lip service came along and you were left with excess skin, correct? Absolutely. Saggy boobs, excess skin, stretch marks, everything that you are riddled with after you, you know, you could say the same thing for after a baby, but I lost a hundred at my highest. I was 260 mm -hmm. and now I weigh 118 to 123 pounds. So I've, I lost one of me. Now I lost an entire person. Wow. And you had this. So you, so in January you have this ex. So did you, so did you feel sexier with the weight or after the weight? Because sometimes people feel like, well, shit, the excess skin sucks a little bit more than the, than the, than the, than the, than the weight. I mean, so how, what, what was the thing for you? Yeah, I, it, it's a struggle both, but it's de like in my clothes now, I feel amazing. And I'm like, yes, I'm sexy. I've got this, you know, we can all put on the waist centers. You can put on the Spanx and you can look like amazing, you know, Jenny from the block or whatever hot girl there is. We can all look like that. But once you take all that off, you are stripped down to just you. There's no hiding from it. So there's definitely that complex of, oh, the, you know, what happened? And, but you feel better. I think I feel better now um, simply because I did something about it. I didn't like how I was and I was strong enough to say, you know, I have this problem and I need help. And I did that. So now I feel a lot more sexy and a lot more confident and empowered because I did make a decision to change my life. Wow. Okay. So this is such a good story. Okay. So you were a little short, cute, fat girl. Then you were a skinny girl with access skin and you still said, I'm going to do a webcam. That's fucking dope to me. Like, I mean, I, I mean, that's crazy. So have you always wanted to be a webcam model? I mean, has, has that just been something on your mind? And is that why you went straight for that? Like, why go straight for that? Why not hide behind a phone and just be a phone sex operator? I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, other than... I felt like the more knowledge I had, the more ability I would have. Um, 
I do know that the sex industry is a very competitive market. And regardless of what I want, if I want to be successful, then I felt like the more information and knowledge that I had, the more prepared that I would be for my success. Um, this isn't like a regular job. It's something that you have to have the power. You have to make the choices to make the money. And so if I had more knowledge, that meant more power. And I wanted to, especially, um, so I'm also a victim of several sexual assaults. So this isn't something that I, a decision that I made lightly. Um, but honestly, wow. this makes me feel like I do have that power and I've always had that power. And regardless of me being a victim of that, I still have the power and I can still choose to do what I want with my body. And this is what I want to do. I feel sexy when I am having a man tell me how beautiful I am and I can, uh, that camera gives me that safety. I'm behind, I'm in my own home. I don't have to worry about flirting with this man or uh, him telling me I'm gorgeous or whatever it is that he wants to do to me. And he's paying me to do it. I don't have to feel vulnerable and he's giving me money for it. So I, I really wanted to take that power back and to use my sex for myself. Very, very, very lovely. I'm so glad you touched on that. I was definitely going to dive into that. Um, this just, I just, I just love everything about you. So, mm -hmm. let's go to, to like, how did total lip? How did total lip service? Because, because as you know, we talked about the training. So next is a consultation. You get a consultation with Stephanie, um, and Stephanie teach you how to choose your niche. So I hear you had a different niche first that you thought was good and then she lets you know another way to do it. Tell us about that process. So, uh, me being this little five foot cutesy girl, I'm all tattooed up, you know, and I've got colorful hair and, um, you know, I always, I look a lot younger than I am, but my body does not match that at all. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll be this cute little submissive young girl. And, you know, I can do this and blah, blah, blah. And Stephanie was like, no, no, you're not. You won't be successful. This is what you need to do. And I was, I was very disappointed. I was like, I don't want to be a old housewife i you know <laughs> i spent my whole life being fat and frumpy and who the hell wants to do that um but through the process i really embraced what she said and i knew that she knew what she was talking about so i did exactly what she said and through that i was through the process of taking the pictures and creating this alternate person, um, it, it made me, a piece of me became her. And that also for me, I think now is going to be more important because when I do get in front of the camera, I'm not me. That's another person. And so her being completely opposite of me, um, <clears throat> I feel like that is like, okay, yes, I'm at job. I'm at work. This is my job. And so this character, cause that's what you guys talk a lot about developing your character. Um, mm -hmm. and not that I can't do a submissive or wouldn't be able to do a submissive later, but I felt it was really important for me to listen to her. Cause I did not want to do that at all. I hung up the phone and I was like, are you kidding me, Sean? She just said, blah, 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 you know? <laughs> and he's like, uh, but didn't she say that she knows what she's doing and she's very successful? So I was like, okay, fine, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so I did not want to do that at all. Wow. You know, that, that's, I think that's another reason why you're successful. You're actually teachable, um, and coachable and trainable. Um, a lot of people feel like that about a lot of things that we tell them. I mean, honestly, we, we, I think a lot of times hardest things for somebody to do is listen to the person that has what they want, even if it's not what they want to hear. I'm guilty of it. I mean, I mean, it's just a human thing. You know, we want to be right, right? We want to be right. Even when we're wrong, we want to be right. 
And so I like that you just said, okay, or maybe hubby was the dope one that kind of lets you know that, hey, maybe you should listen to her. You know, she asked what you want. So that's amazing. So you completely switched out your niche and you made, and I think what, what what's so good about Stephanie and the reason why she's uh, successful and the reason why she's just, just amazing all the way around when it comes to this is she... That's why I be saying, if you're built like a firecracker, if you're built like an anal bead, if you're built like a goddamn, uh, like a bowl of hamburger helper, it's cool because she, Stephanie, can somehow find a way to make that shit profitable. I mean, I don't have that skill. I, I don't. I mean, it's a lot of things Stephanie's good at that I'm just not, and this is one of them, which is why I never do webcam consultations. I'm not qualified, and she's just much better. So I love how she just said, politely told you no, and now you're doing that. So you went through the rest of the process. So what, the next thing for you was the bio when you got the bio. And did you enjoy, did you, are you, were you satisfied with your erotic bio that you got? Oh, yes. And it told, it was amazing. It was totally, it was me to a T plus. <laughs> it was, okay. it was awesome. But you do have to answer those questions. You know, when you're filling out that form, you can't just flippantly answer the questions because if you do, you're going to get something back that's like, well, that's not me at all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the erotic, you know, I <laughs> designed that, you know, um, yeah, that is, it, that took trial and error, actually. I mean, one day we're going to do a whole documentary of Soul Lip Service and how the shit came along. Me and Stephanie have done a lot of crazy shit and a lot of wrong things, a lot of try, a lot of change it out. But that bio form is really, been strategically designed and we are basing a character off of you it's based off you but it is we're creating another character so that's good so next you had you didn't need a model because you're yourself then you had the layout um which was good and i hope you loved your layout you with the custom diva pa custom webcam diva package you get a, a layout that goes with your profile so you got that and were you satisfied with the, how that came together Oh, yes, it was beautiful. And just so my character is a uh, sensual dom. And <clears throat> so it completely looks like that. That is it fits it to a T. There's, certain, you know, the wording in it. And that's part of what you guys say is that, you know, when you do the custom bio, there's going to be words that pick out exactly what uh, your character is, and it is a psychological process for the person reading it to draw them to you. And you could tell, uh, cause I'm like, well, I'm not picky. That was one of the things that said on there. And I'm like, I'm not picky. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. So um, the, that bio and the layout, it just fit. It was like two puzzle pieces put together perfectly. I'm glad. And, and we, we want, this is so nice for me to hear because, again, I haven't rehearsed this. This is just, I'm getting your, you know, you've interacted more with Stephanie than you have with me on this. So I'm loving hearing the feedback of everything. And it's just really been amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, um... It, it, it's just really good. So you got that process. I love the fact, did you feel assisted through it? Did you feel walked through it? Did we just thrown out? I mean, did you feel like people were there for you through the process? Because it is a process. The custom diva package is, is not the instant one. It's the custom one. We have an instant webcam package coming out, but you got the custom. Um, did you feel like you were assisted through the process? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There, there was a little couple of problems along the way and I had, um, uh, system issues, but the, I reached out right away, sent emails and oftentimes quicker than I thought. Um, you know, I thought it was going to be a couple of days and I would get an email back sometimes the next day. Um, even sometimes when you guys didn't have to help me with stuff, you were there to answer questions for me. So it's been very, very helpful. I didn't feel like I was stuck on my own. And that's kind of something I was concerned about, you know, like, okay, well, y'all are selling this training, but that's not it. You can tell that you ladies really care about your customers. It's not just a customer. It's, you know, you care about making the women successful too, because that's your success as well. Yeah. Th thank you. I'm, I'm, very, I'm just very humble by all of this really. I mean, because you as CEOs, you get so caught up in a lot of other things. I'm not saying we don't care, but we get caught up in like the, 
the CEO shit, like the, you know, making sure this is the website's right, doing all the kind of technical things, even thinking about different sales, newsletters, uh, promoting, you, you get into, but what it's really about is this right here. It's really about this. This right here is what, why we do it. And sometimes you can lose sight of that. Uh, even as somebody who runs a company, you can lose sight of why you're doing it. And th this is one of the very rewarding moments of it all because everybody knows I didn't start this. this I personally did not start this business for anything outside of money. But it is evolved. I mean, it's evolved into, oh my God, I'm real, we really are helping people. We really are changing people's lives. I didn't, sometimes you don't know what you're doing until you have a conversation with somebody like this. So I definitely appreciate you uh, doing this um, uh, and talking to me because you didn't have to take time out to do this. And you look fucking great. Okay, I love the hair, the <laughs> lipstick, you are everything. Um, so you got everything set up. Oh, one more, one thing. I think we gotta talk about the money manifestation video. What did you think about the money manifestation video? And and um, and how did you feel about money going in? And, and how did that money manifestation help you? If it helped you at all? So I do have a confession. I haven't watched that video yet, but. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I lied. I but... told you. Just joking. <laughs> it's still the thing of it is, though, um, so I've worked my whole life in the call center industry. Um, I don't know if people have, are familiar with the call center industry, but you're pretty much just an order taker and you feel like the lowest thing on the totem pole. Um, so for me, uh, you know, Money is always stressful for me. I've always lived kind of like, I say always, but pretty much, you know, lived like a paycheck to paycheck kind of thing, you know, okay, well, what can we do this week? Blah, blah, blah. So for me, money's always been one of those things that I was like, I wanted to do better. Um, I have a lot of health problems too. So I've always felt stuck in my job and my company is going through a process. And so I felt very stressed out and I'm like, what do I do? Um, so for me, I did this. I was motivated by money as well. Um, and I would sit there and I would add up like what I'm going to be making $4 a minute. How is this possible? Like I make 20 cents a minute. Oh, my reg you know, those two things just don't add up. And I thought that there's no way, you know, how what do, is how is oh, it going to minute? Did you say 20 yeah. cents? Yeah. You well, know, you know, don't I, think about it like I, that. I, we, me and Stephanie was working for something, something not far from that at one point. So, you know, hey, we, we, I can't even try my nose up. I mean, that was me yeah. at one point thinking I was doing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you think, oh, I'm making $15, $16 an hour or, you know, whatever. And you're like, oh, I'm doing good for myself. You know, I'm paying my bills. I got a roof. You know, and not that I feel bad about it now, but it's like <laughs> after I took that first call and I saw that money, I was like, oh, my God, how, what, what have I been doing? What have I been <laughs> doing? A lot of people have that. So, okay, I, you got, um, you went right into it. So tell us about that first call, start to finish. So you sit in there, you're, you're doing your thing, the phone rings. How do you feel? So it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's really happening. Um, and I had a couple of little catch-ups, but the guy was so uh, patient with me. I, I had problems getting into Skype and, you know, blah, 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 kind of like tonight. But anyway, um, he, he was so, um, sweet and he just, he was like, no, it's no worry. And, you know, uh, when we got finally connected, um, I, I made a mistake right off the bat and I was like, Oh God, what do I do? You know, but immediately my training went into effect immediately. I was like, okay, well now that I've made this mistake, how do I turn this around? And I immediately engaged in my training of, okay. Uh, you know, the material that I had ingested that I was so scared about, like, what, what am I going to do on my first call? How do you, I, I'm going to freeze up, but it, it just went so smoothly. Um, and we actually got disconnected about five times, but he kept calling me back, kept calling me back. So it was, uh, yeah. And it really felt good. 
Okay, so Kennedy, what was the niche? I mean, what was the niche or fed? What did you guys talk about? I mean, what what was the call about? Like, what was his thing? The caller's thing. Okay. So uh, he actually had a couple of different fetishes. He really liked um, tease and denial. And then also he had major body worship. I basically spent an hour on the call of him just telling me how gorgeous I was. That yes! was pretty much it. And um, it, it was so awesome. I was like, seriously, I'm getting paid three seventy five a minute to be told I'm fucking gorgeous. This is, it's insane. And that's what I'm thinking the whole time. Um, and I'm like, th this can't be. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying. I, I, I forget you can see me. I'm trying not to distract you. But I, I'm thinking we're on the phone and I can do all this and you don't see me and get distracted. But it's not working. I forgot you can see me. Okay, so... <laughs> Carry on, forget about, ignore me. <laughs> so, um, and I took a chance because um, he didn't want me to say anything either. He really didn't. When I would try to engage him, me, try to engage him, um, talk to him, you know, have him tell me, well, what he thought was beautiful about me. Um, you could tell it was kind of like he was thrown off. Um, and... The funny part was that, um, so he went right into telling me how gorgeous I was and I fell into that trap and that's what I was, what my mistake was. We didn't spend any time like talking and I didn't stop him or like say, you know, oh, well not yet or I'm not, you know, whatever. Um, so I got caught up in the moment, but immediately I, uh, I kind of snapped my Dom fingers on him, which I normally wouldn't do in my real life, but I remembered I'm a character. Um, and, and I told him, I said, what are you doing? And he was like, Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I was like, oh. Oh, yes, that's the button. That's his button. And from then for the next hour, um, that's all he wanted me to do was to tell him no and, you know, do that tease and denial back and forth and for him to tell me how gorgeous I was. How, okay, how did that feel? I mean, I know this is not the first person to call you gorgeous. You have a beautiful, spectacular, amazing husband who I'm sure tells you that every day. But, like, I know it was like, oh, my God, I'm getting paid. But, like, on an emotional level, like, for coming from what you've come from with being overweight, having that issue, and then being the right weight but having this skin. And then, and then, and then now you're sitting there getting paid to hear how perfect your body is and how perfect you are. Like, on an emotional level, how the fuck does that feel? Because no offense, but I can't relate I don't know. You know, I don't have your story, but so many women have your story. I've never under, I'm not as brave as you. I've never gone through a weight loss surgery. I haven't had the courage to go into the knife for any real reason. And you did. And, 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 and I haven't had the courage to do that and then turn around and be a webcam model. Like, I mean, it's, I, so help me understand how the fuck that feels. You know, six months ago, I was so down on myself because I wanted to have surgery. I wanted to have a tummy tuck and I wanted to, you know, have my saggy boobs fixed. And I have a major complex about that. Um, I forgot all about that. He thought I was perfect. Um, and it's not about what he thinks. It's about getting outside of your own head because that really is personal, you know, and, and it doesn't matter what other people tell you. It is personal. But in a way, it's like this person doesn't know me. He doesn't owe me anything. He doesn't have to tell me I'm gorgeous. He doesn't have to make me feel good about myself. But in his eyes, I was perfect. I couldn't have been more perfect and it really felt good to have that. Yes. Never mind me. Yes. This is just amazing. So you get, okay. So now walk me through the emotions that you feel when you hung up the phone and saw the money that was there. What the fuck went through your mind there? I was so excited. I was like, Oh my God. And honestly, I spent more time talking about it, about 
you know, what happened and telling my husband what happened and, you know, like, oh my God, you're not going to believe this. And this is what he said and blah, blah, blah. I spent more time doing that than I did on the actual call. Um, it was a major ego boost for sure. Um, the money then combined with, um, you know, and I got off on this guy telling me how beautiful I was. I was like, wait a minute, how, how is this happening? How am I getting off just on him telling me how pretty I am? But I really did. And I was like, what is that? You know, but uh, it, the, the money on top of it and then, you know, knowing that um, this is just the beginning. This is yes. just the beginning. I was you so, are. I couldn't even go to sleep, Sydney. I couldn't even go to sleep that night. I think I didn't go to sleep until about four o'clock in the morning. And that's usually about what time I'm waking up. Wow. You are. I am just thrilled. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I mean, I'm so fucking happy as fuck. So I'm going to ask a very obvious question. Would you recommend the webcam diva package? What do you have to say to the girl out there that's honestly in your old shoes? Maybe she is, has not had the surgery yet. Maybe she's in your exact same shoes and it doesn't have to be access skin it could be she feels like she's too skinny she feels like uh, her knees are not the right size i don't know i mean she has acne she you know doesn't have this you know holly berry shape i mean or whatever it is what can you say to those girls who are women who are thinking about doing this but don't feel secure enough because of their body? Because honestly, I feel like you are the body image ambassador right now the total lip, lip service body image webcam model ambassador we're gonna get that on the plaque okay for you what do you say to those women out there right now do it it does not the financial investment is 150 percent worth it um it it changes your life. It really does because you have that power. You don't have to worry about, am, am I going to do good tomorrow at work? Are these people going to fire me? Um, you know, am I going to have to bust my ass? Because I have, a, like I said, a full-time eight-hour a day job that I hate. I despise it every day. And, you know, I got on the phone for an hour and I made, it would have taken me 10 and a half hours to make what I made in 61 minutes Damn. on a Thursday night. Woo! Say it again. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> preach, preach up. Yes. So, this is just the bomb. For you. You know, th do it for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else. It doesn't matter, you know, if you don't think that you can do it. It doesn't matter how much you doubt yourself. Stephanie and Sydney and every person I have come into contact at Total Lip Ser Service is just amazing. And it will. I'm, I'm not. It will change your life. It will change how you feel about yourself. And it will change your future. You know, I could not have paid you to get to have a better conversation with me. I mean, I, I could no amount of money can that sincerity. I mean, I am just blown away, man. This has made my entire year. This is honestly my favorite total lip service moment. We've been in business almost two years now. This is on the. This is honestly my favorite total. This is my total lip service moment. And what you've done is you've inspired me to be a better CEO. You've inspired me to be a better just human being, but really a better member of the total lip service team i mean ceo whatever we all a team everybody from the people to answer emails to the person who does the bios to the ceos we all under the same team and i just want to be a better member to help and get more stories like this really and, and this has just really been amazing so um I, I don't know if anybody else has any questions for her uh we have a couple of more minutes left i know she, she got her man her man want her attention a man no, girl, I'm about to get more. I'm about to make that money is what I'm about to do. Oh, well, we can't. Well, we, well, we ain't got time to wait. Okay, so what y'all can do is uh, y'all can comment some questions and she'll get back to y'all. She can see them or something and come back and do it. I want to say thank you so but I can't. I don't even know if thanking you is enough. Uh, matter of fact, we will. I, don't, I mean, shit. It, I, I'm pretty sure 
I have something I'm going to offer you, but I can't really help you with it because I'm not a webcam person. But we got your back. We're, we're, we're going to give you a total of service gift card um, for doing this uh, that you can purchase anything that you need in the store. We're going to give you uh, some 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 free D. We call Diva Bucks so that you can go and purchase anything that you want out of the store. Um, we we may have some other goodies for you too, but we, we're going to give you something. I know we not agree on any compensation, but I feel like you deserve something for talking to us here and, and you know, something beyond a thank you. So we're going to get you a total service gift card. You ladies have been absolutely amazing. And just the contact that I have had with you guys, um, it, it really, you care. And it's, that's not something that you find. Uh, my only regret is I wish I would have found you guys sooner. I wish I would have learned about you sooner. That's it. That's my only regret. Well, you know what? God damn it. I regret that you didn't find her sooner too, because then I would have been happy a long time ago. Oh, wait, no, I'm just joking. No, but I love you so much. No, I, I, I love you to pieces, man. Thank you so much. I guess nobody has questions. Um, we And everybody you. can feel free. Feel free to PM me. Uh, anybody that has any questions that watches this video later, I will be more than happy to go more into detail if you have questions about my process, how I got here, um, any part of my journey. I am a very, very open person. And if I can help in any way that Stephanie or Sydney or any of the other ladies at Total Lip Service have helped me. I will be more than happy to do that for anyone else. You guys ask me questions, ask away, PM, whatever. Shoot me a friend request. Um, my, I think you tagged me on here, but anyway, this is my alternate profile. So do please PM me on this one, Melanie Candice. Um, so I'm here for y'all. Oh, thank you. And I love, just thank you so much. I can't say thank you again. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Let us know if you need anything. We got your back. And thank y'all for watching and share this video. Everybody needs to share this. And on behalf of me and Stephanie, Stephanie's been here. We want to say we love you and we thank you so very much for taking time out to talk to us. And we miss you. We wish you the millions of dollars, like, period. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs>